What's going on guys, it's Drew Lefty NDV10 uh, coming back with more T206 pickups. Uh, these are all Hall of Famers, so I've got six cards to show off today. So uh, some of these I have literally had on my desk for probably six plus months. And then uh, some of them I've got, you know, as recently as a couple weeks ago. So I um, just never showed them off on camera and uh, need to clear off my desk. So I had to make my weekly video. So I will jump right into it. First one we got is Miller Huggins hands at mouth Huggins uh, one of the lower tier Hall of Famers but it's a good looking card um, pretty unique pose for the set him and Huey Jennings uh, have some pretty pretty cool looking poses and this is just a really solid three it's got some staining on the back there at the bottom but uh, not a single crease on this card at all so it's a it's a pretty good example. Yeah, pretty much exactly what I look for for my collection. Uh, next up, we got uh, another lower tier Hall of Famer, but his stuff has kind of ticked up lately. Um, Jake Beckley. Uh, I had a four of this card. Uh, one of the, not really one of the first T206 I picked up, but uh, one that I got from my old card shop, but I ended up downgrading, if you want to call it that, into this uh, Polar Bear 3. Uh, this card just had much better eye appeal uh, and registration than my forehead, so I had no problem uh, letting it go to uh, get one with with a good eye appeal, but still the grade that I want for my for my set. So Jake Beckley, I think he had around 2,500 hits or so. Um, pretty good ball player, but one of those little known Hall of Famers. <clears throat> Next up, we got Clark Griffith. Uh, I picked this one up, gosh, probably eight months ago, eight, eight nine months ago. Um, so, for example, I think I paid $140 for this card, uh, and I think today it probably run about $250. It is a super nice looking SGC4, sweet caporal. And not that really anybody cares, but it is one of the more scarce. Uh, sweet Capro backs. It's the 150 Factory 25. So, just kind of a cool, cool little tidbit to that. But I remember uh, I wasn't really like hunting this card or anything, but I saw it ending, and it was like a minimum bid, like 139 or something. And I was like, I can't, I can't let that a four go for under 150 bucks. So, like I said, now you probably have to pay 250, 300 dollars for any Hall of Famer in a four. So, Clark Griffith. <clears throat> uh, this next one I uh, picked up quite a while ago as well. It's another polar bear back of Homer and Baker, Frank Baker. And as you can probably guess by the bit of staining that is on the card, it is a polar bear back. So I used to really, really like the polar bears, but uh, a lot of the times the images just aren't as clear in the staining. So this is one I'd like to maybe upgrade down the road. I mean, they do still carry a bit of a premium uh, being the polar bear back. So I'm sure I won't have too much trouble finding a suitable upgrade and, and moving this one fairly easily. Uh, Home Run Baker is one of my favorite players, um, but his pose, this card in the T206 set, it's just kind of lackluster. He doesn't have a portrait. Um, I do have his T205 portrait, but I, I would like to get a few other issues of Home Run Baker. To me, this pose is just kind of odd. His arm is just kind of, I don't know. It's kind of a weird follow through. But anyways, home run Baker. Uh, the last two really, really good cards. Uh, I was super, super happy to get this one at the price. Uh, this is the third toughest Hall of Famer in the set. Um, funny story about this card. It popped up in a group that I don't buy a whole, whole lot from. Just it, uh, it was a great deal. You know, type sold as fast as I could. Guy shipped out the card the same day, and I just waited and waited and waited and waited. A uh, week went by, he didn't provide tracking, and so I just reached out. Hey, uh, you know, just curious if he had tracking on the card, still hadn't got here. Uh, and he said he shipped it with stamps, so I was pretty concerned with, you know, everything going on at USPS currently, and so I waited another week, uh, still nothing. And uh, finally, three weeks later, the uh, Mordecai Brown Cubs on shirt uh, randomly showed up. So, 
super happy to nail this card down again. It's a pretty tough Hall of Famer. Um, pretty sure it's uh, Green Cobb portrait, uh, Evers Cubs on shirt, or Evers Blue Sky, and then uh, Mordecai Brown Cubs on shirt are the three toughest uh, popular pop report wise in the set. So it's a solid three. It's a Sweet Cap Rollback 150 Factory 30. Uh, it needs a new holder. This one's kind of faded and everything, really scratched up case, but uh, super tough card, really popular. He's a cubby, uh, literally only had three fingers. So, Mordecai Brown. And then the last one, uh, one of my recent favorite-ish players. Um, I was reading uh, The Glory of Their Times, a book my wife bought me uh, while I was on vacation at the beach, just went scouring eBay, and um, this card has shot up so much. Uh, like all, many others, but this one just has gone pretty wild too. So I was really happy to work a deal for this card off eBay. Uh, he has an incredible story of determination and sacrifice and what uh, what it was like trying to get to the majors back in the early 1900s. So Rube Marcord, big giant left-hander. Uh, this dude was literally a giant for his time. I believe he was 6'4", maybe, 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, I mean, average height back then was probably, you know, 5'6", five, 5'7", five, uh, I don't know, around there. Anything that's six foot tall, you were you were a giant. So this guy was just huge. Um, his nickname, Rube, uh, he was not an idiot or a simpleton like most people with that nickname were. Uh, he was nicknamed Rube because he resembled uh, a famous idiot, uh, my favorite player, Rube Waddell. So he's got that connection. Uh, but this is just a beautiful four. It's a 350 30 back, sweet cap roll. Uh, just love this card. Again, if you get a chance, uh, read up on Rube Marcord. Just a fantastic story. I uh, fell in love with it. So, And, and it's a good looking portrait. I, re I really do like this one. Uh, it's centered well. But that is it. That is all I've got, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.